What up, what up, what up, guys? Josh with Rhino TV. Um, believe it or not, this is my fifth attempt at this video. Uh, it's going to be our first official, or my first official YouTube video with you getting to see my pretty face and so on. A um, couple things I want to cover real quick, if I may. Uh, first one is support with Rhino TV. Okay, we have a couple options on support. One is uh, the, our Facebook support group, uh, which if I can figure out how to do this YouTube thing real well, I'll go ahead and post the uh, link. If you're not in the support group, I'll go ahead and post the link below. And please join the support group. Uh, there's the nice thing about the support group, if for some reason I'm unreachable, uh, there's other people there to help. I know Jeff Houston, Aaron Torres, Rob Bowman. Um, I think I'm missing someone, but I, I know personally, I, I know for a fact that they've helped people out. I know Jeff is all over it. Um, and also, I've seen customers, other customers help people out, okay? Which is really awesome, by the way. So any customers that, you know, chime in there and are helping out everyone else, thank you very much. That is extremely awesome. Um, and I'm very, very grateful for that. You know, and there's times also where I've seen you guys just chit-chatting in there, cracking jokes, you know, stuff like that. Do it, okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm completely happy with that, too. Um, you know, to me, Rhino TV is one is turning into one big community, okay? Um, so I like the personalization. I like knowing you guys. I like being part of it. You know, that way, you know, it can be humble and know where, you know, everything begins, okay? So... The second one, the one that's not utilized very often, is the client area. Now, if you don't know what the client area is, basically when you went to the website and signed up, you had to set up a username and password on rhinotvnow.com. Okay? That rhinotvnow.com username and password gives you access to the client area. So you can go to rhinotvnow.com, top right hand corner, and log in. Okay? With that, not only can you, you know, pay your bill or look at your bill. Um, you can look at other things that has to do with your service, but there's two sections one called Frequently asked questions, which everyone knows what that is the FAQ, but then there's also a uh, Knowledge base section. Okay on the knowledge base section a Lot of questions that get asked including internet related buffering, you know, so on and so on can be answered in that section uh, If you can't find it or you just don't have time to read it then you can submit a ticket Okay, um, the ticket system is awesome because there's sometimes where I am not available. Okay, may there's for example there's a week out of the month where I do a lot of server stuff at nighttime. Okay, I'm like a hermit, it's third shift schedule. Um, very hard to reach during the day times during those. Okay, ticket system is great because it rem if someone doesn't get back to you it stays. So if you Facebook message me, which some of you do, and I, at this time I do not mind that whatsoever. Um, sometimes I overlook it I forget to get back to you or I remember a week later um, and it's not intentional I mean I'm getting way busier than I expected at, uh, at this point um, but with the ticket system the tickets there until we answer it, so we'll always see it also there's more than one person working on the ticket system so if I miss it someone else is going to get it um, so there's more options out there there's better ways for us to, you know, or it's a better way for us to see what's going on. So I would say please do the ticket system, the support group. For people that Facebook message me and, you know, have had good success with it, I'm fine with that for, for right now. Um, and I'll probably be fine with it always for the people that already do it. You know, at some point, though, I am going to have to start, you know, cutting people off from it because, you know, I kind of have to have a life outside of Rhino TV a little bit, too. Okay. Um, the second thing that I wanted to cover, which kind of goes with support a little bit, okay? Now, I want to say this, is that obviously when you start a company, you kind of know or set expectations. You know you can't make everyone happy and you can't keep them forever. And there's going to be some people, you know, that you lose and so on and so on. Right now, we are very, very fortunate to have not lost an, um, the amount of people that we thought we might, Okay. Um, do we have a certain percentage in mind? Um, and it's a very, you can, a lot of the stuff you can find online about what to expect when you do a business like this, for example, any kind of 
you know, internet or TV provider or a service provider, you know, there's certain percentages that you, you're supposed to stay under and so on. I can count on one hand how many customers we have lost. But on that one hand and those customers, I can also say 100% of them never contacted us to tell us the problem. At some point, we found out the problem on a couple of them, and usually it was something that could have been fixed. So now they're back paying, I'll tell you this, the average cable bill right now in the United States is $175, okay? One, I mean, just think about it, $175 to watch TV. And we all know, and this is the same way with Rhino, you watch like five channels. All right, so you're basically paying that much money just to watch a select few of channels. Um, and they're back to paying that again when there's problems could have been fixed. And it's, it's not a knock on them. Some people don't like change, and, you know, I get that, and so on. But that actually, for what, the reason why this company was started it had nothing to do with money. <coughs> Excuse me. It had to do with... Um, me going in to a certain cable provider one day and them telling me straight up, well, where are you going to go when they raise my rates? And then also when someone I knew who, you know, they have a family and I, you know, I kind of have, I won't say they're dear to me, but, you know, I care about their family. Uh, got TV service through that certain cable provider and internet and had to cancel within three weeks because their first bill was $275. So that is the number one motivation why this was started, um, was so people could spend time with their family, uh, watch some cool sports, and still be able to afford to do other cool things with their family. Things that they might not have been able to do if they're forking out 175 to 200 something dollars uh, for cable monthly. So. I will say this, if I do not know your problems, I can't fix them. And there's some problems that I can't fix, they are related to maybe your internet provider. I just had one over the weekend with my internet provider. Uh, fortunate for me, my internet provider does not pass on the blame like some internet providers do. And they found out that even though my speeds, uh, I actually get much faster speed than most people. Most people in line would get 100 meg. Uh, I get what's called a gigabyte, so basically that is, well, it's not basically, that's a 1,000 megabytes per second. Um, I was getting 970 down, yet I was having buffering. Uh, I found out my Ethernet cable was not plugged in. It was going off of my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi was having interference issues, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, basically, on the support side, please let us know what's going on. Please tell us. If you're having any issues, majority of the time we fix it. And if we can't fix it, let's say you're in a rural area or there or something else, then, you know, you move on and that's fine. I mean, I understand that we're not. That's one reason we don't have contracts. We don't want you here if you're unhappy. And uh, but there's some people and I'm going to put this person. I'm going to name I'm going to name drop someone. But he's a very good friend of mine. It's Tyler Schwab. I actually was talking to him the other day, and I swear when he has an issue, which usually is just update the app or something like that, um, I, I think I push him more than he pushes us to, you know, get the stuff updated and so on. Uh, you know, you're paying for a service. Some of you guys look at it as it's a cheap service, which it is, um, and, you know, oh, well, and if it doesn't work that great, whatever. And not this. No, no, we want this to be a... This service is very good, and that's not me being cocky or anything. I watch this every day. My family watches it every day. I have neighbors that are watching it. I have people are watching it all the time, and they don't experience hardly any issues. It's because we work extremely hard uh, to make sure that you guys are up and going and good. So if you're experiencing any problems, please let us know. We want to know them. Even if you're kind of happy with it, you're going to keep us still let us know because we want the experience to be the same for everybody which is good um so basically please uh yeah please let us know any problems remember there's a facebook support group remember there's the ticket system okay and i cannot remember if i talked about ethernet or running ethernet or not 
So if not, I'm going to be making another video here real quick. All right. So, all right, guys, if you haven't met me, glad you got to see me now. Um, if I do come to your house for any reason, I promise I probably won't look that much like a bum. So you guys have a good night. Thank you for choosing Rhino TV.